What happened in Tulsa in 1921 was really emblematic of the racial violence that uh, pervaded the United States during that period. In fact, historians and sociologists refer to the early part of the 20th century as the nadir of race relations in America, the low point of race relations in America, because of the proliferation of these so-called race riots, mostly invasions of black communities by vigilante white mobs, and because of the prevalence of lynching, lynching being a form of domestic terrorism targeting primarily African Americans. So this was a period fraught with uh, racial violence and historical racial trauma. Uh, the event in, in Tulsa is the worst of the so-called race riots during this period uh, in terms of its, its magnitude. The business community in the Greenwood District, the black sector in Tulsa, was highly developed. Uh, a great concentration of service providers like doctors, lawyers, pharmacists, and dentists. But all manner of business enterprises, small businesses like movie theaters, dance halls, barber shops, restaurants, grocery stores, haberdasheries, shine shops, a real concentration of black entrepreneurship and black wealth in a 35 square block area in Tulsa, Oklahoma, separated from downtown Tulsa by the Frisco tracks. I wanted to go to Tulsa native professor Olivia Hooker, a survivor of the Greenwood massacre, describing the attack on her community that took place when she was just six years old. She was 92 when she did this interview. I refuse to call it a riot because it was really, you know, uh, whites decided to burn down the homes of 10,000 people. So that was not a riot. It was a planned desecration. And when the mobs came in, they had those pole, those pine, you know, knots all lighted up, and they set things on fire. And my mother refused to run because she was busy putting water on the house to try to keep it from burning. And so she put the children under the big oak table. You know, they had those great big tables in those days with little nooks under them. So we were under the table when the mobs came in. So that's Tulsa native Professor Olivia Hooker talking about what happened in 1921. And I wanted to ask you, Hannibal Johnson, um, about President Trump choosing Tulsa. Um, now, of course, there's the surge, and we know that COVID-19 hits the African-American community much harder than the rest of the community in this country. There's a surge in Tulsa. Many of the leaders are asking for it not to be held there. Can you respond to this choice of location and the original date? Right. So the rally uh, is troubling to a lot of people because of both the, the venue, to Tulsa, and because of the timing. So we're in the midst of a, of a COVID pandemic. We're in the midst of a surge here in Tulsa, bringing um, thousands of people together uh, in a tight space where, where it's not possible mm -hmm. to socially distance, where people don't have to wear masks. Those people are going to attend the rally, then they're going to spill out into the community writ large and pose substantial risk to all of us here. So that in and of itself is a problem. Uh, the, the other problem with, with timing is that even though the, the rally has now been moved to June 20th as opposed to June 19th, it's still Juneteenth weekend. There still are festi festivities going on. It's a celebratory atmosphere of a very significant day in our history, particularly for African Americans. The rally comes two and a half weeks after the 99th anniversary of the 1921 Tulsa race massacre. Um, so it's an issue of sensitivity uh, at, at the very least. Um, and and the, other, the other dynamic that's important to think about is the character of, of the rally. And we know something about the the potential character of the rally based on prior experience with these sorts of rallies, which tend to be raucous. Uh, they tend to be exclusive rather than inclusive. Uh, they, they tend um, to have elements of, of race and racism as part of the experience. So that troubles a lot of people because here in Tulsa, we are working hard on reconciliation, on moving our community 
closer together as we approach the 100th anniversary of the 1921 Tulsa Rice Massacre. And the, the rally has the potential to be a disruptor to, to, to where we are on the road to reconciliation. 